estar amigos. Welcome to what many call the original Death Valley. Clemson, South Carolina, where the crowd is rocking in anticipation of the showdown we have in store. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport. A rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs taking on the 17th ranked team in the land, the Clemson Tigers. 48 Sports College Football by Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. will kick off to get us underway. He'll bring it out. It's Bell. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. Getting set for first down. Off the bootleg and rolling out. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Uh, missed opportunity on offense. QB and receiver just not on the same page there. Now on second down. They'll run play action. Fires to the middle. He's got an open man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Looking to the big tight end. And that pass picked off. Looking for more room. And a tremendous return will be stopped at the 28-yard line. It's a defense that prides themselves on taking the football away. They believe they could impact this game with turnovers, and they get an interception on the opening drive. Wasn't a big return, but that doesn't matter. They stole a possession, and that is huge for their confidence. A first down for the offense. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They tried to get the defense going the wrong way with the counter, but nothing doing. Aggressive defense, attacking defense. You want to hit them with those counters, but it wasn't successful in this play. Defensive line, linebackers, everybody's dialed in. They see what's going on. They diagnose it, go downhill, hit them right in the middle of the field. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Leaves it with the running back. They'll make the stop, but he gets four on the play. Balls at the 25. Just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong. Be big. Be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off balance. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. Pulls it in, it's Brown. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. That's a great play call there, guys. I love it. Listen, they didn't get the first down, but this QB sneak on the very next play is going to get it, and this drive is going to keep going.
this would likely be a chip shot for the field goal kicker, but they want the touchdown instead. They'll go for it on fourth down. They'll try it on the ground. How about that defense rising up and stopping him short on fourth down? And how about the defense coming up big on fourth and short? You know they're going to run the football. Great job stacking the box, getting the big stop. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again. Hit the afterburners, kid. At the 30. Inside the 10. Touchdown, dogs. And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Number six. And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. A rather inauspicious start with the kickoff out of bounds and great field position for this offense. On first down, here comes this offense. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. Well, it's first down, and the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Going to the running game. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. To throw, it's Klubnik. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Here he goes breaking the pocket. He'll pull it down and run. Across the 25, he's got room. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there, understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and force a tackle for a loss. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab. It's Brown. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. Well, the defense did a nice job taking everything away down the field, but once the drag route was caught, they just couldn't rally to the ball carrier in time to make a tackle, and as a result, new set of downs. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. 
We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. This offense can get a jolt of momentum headed to the locker room if they can take the lead here. Dropping back, it's Klubnik. Slide. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Scoops it up. Still a live ball. That ball carrier is very lucky. That easily could have ended up in the hands of the defense. Okay, got that was a better job of ball security. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. And that pass intercepted. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it in the tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. The short hands, it's love it. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. It's first down from their own 23-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back into 16. And these edge rushers, man, they're so athletic nowadays. They can get to the quarterback, bend that corner so quickly, get him on the ground before he knows what hits him. How about that defensive end, that speed off the edge? Wide out in motion. Off the boot, looking for his man. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're staring at third. We had a barn burner the last time these two teams played, and no reason to expect anything else between these two bitter rivals. Attention to detail, and I think the sense of urgency. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. Makes the grab on the right. A huge gain on that one before he ran out and he has the first down. Well, it didn't take long for this guy to leave his impact in the game, guys. With that catch, this guy's already over 100 yards in the game, and we're not even done the first half. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. It's caught downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now, having given up multiple first downs on this drive. Somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the bleed. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. And the defense makes a play, and they get the quarterback down at the 26. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. Looking downfield, it's Beck. Working that left side now. Well, this offense told us coming in, they were going to challenge this secondary early and often. They were going to use their speed to their advantage and take advantage of this quarterback's touch and arm talent. And they already in the second quarter, they've got over 200 yards thrown. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Wide receiver shows motion. He'll throw on third down. Grab behind the line. It's Lovett. And he was knocked down immediately short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. Ooh, and that's a nice sigh of relief for the defense, too, right? There was a broken tackle. The guy made it look like he was going to pick up the first, but because of great effort defensively, they were able to get the stop, and now they're setting up fourth down. They're not into threes. They want sixes, and to keep this drive alive, they'll need to get it on fourth down for six. Snag in the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. 
And that's his second receiving touchdown of the game. My man is just finding pay dirt. Tell you what, these are the kind of guys that you continue to feature throughout a game when he can do this kind of damage after he catches the football. They'll try to add another to their lead. Oh, how could that happen? He misses the extra point. So here comes the kickoff Number after the touchdown, and the last thing you need right before the half is to give up a big return. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Trying to find his man on first down. Turns it loose deep. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Touchdown, Tigers! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Just enough time to get off one final play of the half. Wants to throw on first down. He unleashes a long one. Pass on the way. It's picked off. And he'll be brought down, and that's how we'll end the first half. Georgia will kick it deep to start the second half. And he'll just take a knee in this drive. We'll start at the 25. ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. If they're going to get on top in this game, they're going to have to find a way to get the running game going in the second half. Uh, agree. So it can create some more balance, some more unpredictability. I feel like this defense has got a good beat on what they're doing, especially if they don't mix it up a little bit. So I do look for a little second half running the football ball right of this group. And I think the thing, Dave, is they just got to be more physical. I don't think this is a scheme question about trying different run plays. I think it's up to the big fellas up front They've just got to make the decision that they're going to be tougher here in the second half so that they can win this game. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. Uh, he didn't get a big game. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If you could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. A third down try for the offense. To the air. It's Klubnik. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. The punters have had the day off up to this point. First one of the game. A low line drive and short kick. Going to make sure he doesn't get a return on this one as the punt bounces out of bounds. And 
with Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm. Maybe before you open it up again, Palmer, or do you trust him right away? Uh, he seems to me like the guy maybe that just needs to kind of get into the flow of the game. So maybe you get the running game going here and just give him some easy looks to let him get lathered up. Offense gets set for second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. He wants to pass it on second down. Pressure coming. Oh, he needs to get rid of it. He needs to do something, and he will go down. What a terrible, terrible play and a big loss. Keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. Now the play fake. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. I think going into halftime trailing, this defense knew that they were going to have to start making plays here in the second half. And early in the third quarter here on this drive, they get a sack. That is really good news for this defense. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Oh, the sweet juke gets him free. And there he goes. He will score. Touchdown, Tiger. The whole thought process is just get the ball back and what will we do on offense? And the special teams takes care of that. What a great job by the special teams unit making a big-time play. Listen, the offense was going to get the ball reached. Yeah, I get you, but they got this taken care of. Take the punt return, make a few guys miss, take it all the way to the house. Really good execution of that punt return. The kickoff team is out there, and after giving up a punt return for the score, this offense needs to do some work. He'll bring it out. It's Smith. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here. Oh, it's loose. The defense grabs it, and they're going the other way. Oh, look out. Touchdown, Clemson. The defense takes matters into their own hands. Hey, great job by the defense. The ball's thrown, the ball's completed, swarming to the football, knock it out, and then guess what? Be there to scoop it up, run it back to the end zone. Huge play by this defense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, one with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. He'll bring it out. It's Smith. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Looking to go up top on first down. Throws for the tight end. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Well, I know that one fell incomplete, but what a day this guy has had throwing the football. Multiple touchdowns, and he's done a really nice job with his decision-making. Hasn't thrown any picks, which has really helped keep this offense on schedule. Throws to the wideout. And they won't be able to connect downfield, looking for a big-time play. Well, they're trying to attack the middle of the field. That time, the ball a little too high for his wide receiver, and it falls incomplete. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Oh, man, another incompletion. That's three in a row. 
That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody in the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. Three straight misfires has left them staring at fourth and ten, but they'll try it again. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And the incomplete pass turns it over in their own end. Nice job by the defense there. You talk about when you have your foot on... Ooh. 